amazing host and host and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show yeah. and I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey and you know we never know how big this is gonna get so yeah. let's just see where you take this take this juice to an oh 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 all right kale ke tuka mo le ke tuka mo le le dipino ke na le ngwa ga tsa tharo ke betsa comedy marapo video la me ke go felo ke batla go tshona le tempo ke batla go tshona khalefo ke swana ka thata ke tindo 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 ya tindo ya tindo Absolute B Dub Africa the rest of the world. Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0, your favorite show. Now on the count of 3, Juicy. 1 2 3. Juicy. Now first things first. Ah oh, man, I got to appreciate you. This is what happens first on the Juice 2.0. As, as soon as you tune in, as soon as you click on that, I got to appreciate you. Bottom of my heart, deep down somewhere in my bones for getting us to 2.1 subscribers on the YouTube channel. And then the second thing to do before I introduce this amazing phenomenal woman is to get to your comments. Let's find out Who said what on our YouTube channel? First off, on the Hansi video, which we dropped yesterday, actually, ah, one of my favorite favorite videos, and uh, this one is from Taone Dintler. You simply said, "Love Hansi." Oh yes, we do too. We do too. Moving right along, on the Hansi video as well. Kutlo Muilo, hi. Thank you so much for commenting. You simply put these. These are like shop 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 emojis, right? It's like, yeah, 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 perfect, amazing, nice. Appreciate you. And then moving right along, we got Hunter. What's going on, Hunter? What's up? I see you. I see you. Thank you so much for your comments and you simply said on the Hansi video as well. I've been looking for this channel for months. I finally found it. Awesome content. Gracias. 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 And then uh, on the Dato video, Paco Rani Sankuta. Thank you so much Ronnie. Uh you said great interview. And uh that's just a few bit of bits before I get to a whole lot of them. But for now you can also get your chance to drop your comments. Now, in the building this morning, I'm very pleased and super super might I add that I'm supremely honored to be sitting with this amazing phenomenal woman who is a TV presenter, digital content creator, media personality, actress, live performance educator, a wife and a mother. If you know who I'm talking about, man, this person don't need no introduction. But hey, for the sakes of the sakes, how about you put your hands together for Marang Silalwane. Good morning. Hello. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Let me start by saying that hello to the viewers, the yep. listeners. Yep. Um I'm here and I can't wait to hang out with you. Finally. <laughs> We can both agree. Okay. Finally. Yeah, it's been a while. It's 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 yes. The conversation started. I think it's been years now. It's been years, man. Yeah, uh, two yeah. years. But what I've come to really appreciate about life is that things happen when they need to happen. Mm, you know absolutely, what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm glad that you're here. You look very beautiful. Thank you. Or was that was that was that particularly for the Juice 2.0? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I honored the invitation. I had to pull through. Correct. And you look, man, amazing. But Thank I'm you. I'm I'm really happy that you're finally here because we've we've needed to have a conversation. I've needed to have a conversation with you mm-hmm. because of the person that you are. But we'll get to so much more of that. How are you? I am. Um, Jeez. Yeah. This morning I was just thinking how actually exhausted I am. Uh huh. Um, I'm in quite a an interesting space and phase in my life. Yeah. I'm in a space of transition. Right. And I am finding my feet. Uh huh. But we'll. I guess we'll we'll talk about that. You yes. Know, um. Later on. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. I think. God is definitely in the building and exciting things are happening. Yeah. New things are happening. We see we see and hear new things are happening. You know like, "Oh man, the morph the morph of you from being a child star into who you are is something that you foresaw or it's something that you're working hard towards." Yeah. I mean, listen, as cliché as it sounds, I've never seen myself doing anything other than what I do. In fact, initially it was television presenting. It was right. Um okay it was television presenting then it turned into media right yes, yes, I'm yes. a full on media girl right um but the transition of my or rather the journey of my career has been interesting because I spent it's it's 20 years this year mm-hmm. um wow yes 20 yeah 20 I started when I was 11 I'm 31 this year man so it's been quite a while it's, it's been it's been two decades so yeah so I started as a television presenter at yeah. the time there was also my freaking dream so I was 
doing that as well. I was an MC for that show for a couple of years and three, four years. Yep. Um, well into my teens. And then I did my kabaneng, yep. the, the radio show. I was a radio actress. I've tried writing. I was the I interned at La Poloja. People don't know this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I interned at La Poloja. Yeah. I've done quite a, a bit of everything, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think it comes with working from such a young age. I didn't know how it felt to not work. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. 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 So from then, I decided I'm going to move to South Africa to study drama. Yes. So I did my BA in drama at the University of Pretoria, Tux. Right. Yeah, yeah. Came back home. Okay, now I'm going to tell my entire life story. <laughs> but yeah, and then, it and seems then a like couple we of years it, later, it. yeah, a couple of years later, I went back to do my honors in drama and film at Wits University, Wits School of Arts. So I knew this is the space that I want to occupy probably for the rest of my life, yeah. but in different spheres of it. So right, right. Um, it went from, you know, being in front of the camera to actually studying the craft, from studying the craft to going back to practicing. And then um, lecturing found me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. God just has this thing of saying, like, you've done you've done this bit. You can do it. I know I can practice. I'm right. a practitioner. Right. 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 Um, that's that's just God given talent. And then from there to educating, which I've been doing for, which I which I just left actually, and I'd been doing it for four and a half years at right. Africa Botswana, now a Will College, and yeah, now I am two <laughs> weeks into my new life post lecturing, and it's it's quite interesting. So I hate you so much, by the way, <laughs> because you know what this young lady's just done. Do you know what you've just done right now? You have you have simply just <laughs> answered all the questions because I had I'm from. A <laughs> I'm a talker. One to ten questions have already been answered. Yes. But 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 I love it because it's conversation. You know what yeah. I mean? But let's go back a little bit to you knowing as a decision. Now, this is me off the head now because yeah. all the questions have been answered. <laughs> right? It's just like, I hate you so much. You see, and I didn't even ask for questions. You know what you know? I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? And, and I appreciate that. I, I don't like people that say... Uh, let me see the questions that you have before it. No, because mm. then it, it, it dilutes the whole conversation, right? Yeah. But let's take me back to you making decisions that you would, you say that you knew. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't it be a bit unorthodox for a person that maybe who was as young as you were to have that kind of knowing in a generation where, so to speak, media art is not something that we support as a society especially if you're going to make money out of it or mm. at least you have intentions to make money out of it how then does a young morang know at that age well i think it just came from my personality yeah. i think it's, it's it's just innate i just have a bubbly personality so right, as a kid it's right. funny because i'm seeing it with my daughter now she's a lot nami nami is a firecracker <laughs> And when my when my parents interact with her, they always say to me, "But you literally gave birth to you, okay, pretty much, really. But you gave birth to yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. This is you." I so I would stand in front of the camera, in front of the TV. Yeah. Um. So we lived in So at some point. My dad worked for Soda Ash. Mm -hmm. Um. So small mining town. Um. And I would sit in front of the the TV and I'd watch. At the time, it wasn't KT. I think it was just Mnet. Mnet just. I think it was just Mnet before DSTV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I could. I could be correct. I should. If I'm wrong, correct me. Right, right. Um. But yeah, I'd stand in front of the the, the TV and I would rehearse and imitate what I was seeing. That's crazy. And I would share with my parents. I was the performer. That's you know, crazy. of the yeah. family. Yeah. Um. Not so much. Funny enough, I wasn't so much a social butterfly then. Uh -huh. I had an imaginary friend. I like to just do my own thing in my own space. Yeah. So when naturally, when your parents see that in you, and it's not going away, so it's not a phase. This person is growing, and they this this thing it's is still there. It's still there. Yeah. Like yeah their right. Personality is this thing, you know. Right. Um. So naturally, I think when the conversation came, yeah, and I would oh, I would always say to my dad, dad. When we have our own TV station, I am definitely going to audition. Wow. So, and I thank God for my parents because they're very supportive. Yeah, yeah. Um, my dad was very, extremely supportive of this journey, specifically because he took me to the audition. Oh, yeah. Um, and he sat there with me uh -huh. for, yeah, for hours on end, just daddy and daughter time, attended every single stage with me. So he's he he was a, an incredible part of of this journey. Yeah. Um. Both of them, but more so my dad, because at that point when I was getting into TV, he was really holding my hand through it. So are you are you a daddy's girl? Before you continue, 
Um, you seem like it. <laughs> so, so I have three other sisters. Yeah. I have one younger sister, two older. Yeah. So I think we've we've fought for daddy's attention at different phases of ah. our lives, and and my parents have always been able to know who needs attention at when, what time, at right? What time. Right, right, yeah. right. So. I mean, all of us will say, I'm a daddy's girl, I'm a daddy's girl, I'm a daddy's girl. But they all know I'm the original daddy's girl. But I know, I know one of your sisters, Tunya. Si, Tunya, yes. She'd probably yes. have something different to say, right? Of course, of course. She has. We all have very different relationships with my dad. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, he's really, he's quite liberal. So he's uh, always open to like these crazy ideas that we have and yeah. he will support. And also, I appreciate the fact that because Rebanyana Hela Kola Pink is all girls, yeah. um, We've never known gender roles in the home. Ah. So we do whatever. <laughs> we do whatever. It's changing of light bulbs. It's like, well, very. Oh, you can do that? No, I can't. No, of course, that's like cap. I can't cap, because cap. I haven't had to, right? Because oh, yeah. Tunya, yo, she'll hate me for this. And I always say to you, as the eldest sibling, it's your responsibility. It's your- <laughs> to, 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 you know, but what I'm saying is, I can do things that normally a man would be would, expected uh, to do because yes, yeah, yes, I've, yes. I've never, I don't have a brother, so I've always, we've always had to, you know, figure it out for ourselves. Right. Yeah, I like that. Who's your favorite? It's Tunya and the other. What's the what's the other one? My lady, it's Tunya. It's my lady, and then our last born Sadie. Yeah. So who's Jeez. your favorite? It, it it depends on the day. You know, it <laughs> it, it, it changes. It, it changes. It has to. It has. To. We have very different relationships with each other, but. We're a very close-knit family. I like very that. Very close-knit. I like yeah. that. Marang Silwana in the building. 817 is your time on the Juice 2.0. Gap City, B-Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. Talk to us. Talk to her. 14962 SMS line. If you want to call, do that on 3956962. Speak to this firecracker of a media personality. <laughs> and remember, your WhatsApp plus 267-3956962. We'll be right back. Uh, but for now, how about we get some Nicki Minaj? Do you like Do you like Nicki? Yeah, I'm all right. she's all right. So the the conversation she's would be right. if you are to choose between Nikki and Cardi B, then what what oh. are you doing? What what do you do, Mara? Honestly, I don't. It's not like I wake up to listen to either one of them. I won't lie. Yeah. Um, if you were to ask me between Jill and Erica ah. or Common Ooh. and Tali, Ooh. or you know what I mean? Ooh, I see that soul in there. I, I see that. That sort of. I mean, I can, I, I will bob my head to okay. Nikki, yeah, yeah. throw in some lyrics there, but like, it's, she's really, I don't go out of my, I don't have Nikki on my, on my, um, Apple yeah. music. Yeah. I I, I just, so, so now I just feel like, you know what? At the end of the day, I don't even have to do that Nikki thing. I could okay. just rather, you know, uh, just maybe look for some, you know, uh, what's your favorite Jill Scott track? I don't have a favorite. There are too many. There are way too many. The way, um, um, golden. Uh, I have all her albums. He loves me. He loves me. Oh, do, 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 Say no more. Do, 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 do. Say no more. Say no more. We're cruising. We're cruising. Don't be bruising, though. No. Hey. We're good. Cruising. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Um. This is. I. I'm actually watching. I'm looking at them. Reading the. What's this? My live. Yeah. On Instagram. On Instagram. Right. The comments. And apparently, this interview is very refreshing. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Thank you. I'm reading. I'm loving the comments. I'm glad. And yeah, I hope I don't bore you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could never do that. Even if you wanted, you could never do that. You could, you probably just amaze people in your sleep. That's what you do, right? Oh, wow. What did you, did you Isn't that something? You, you, right? Yeah, it's like you I could hope be so. sleeping and people are amazed. It's like in awe. I hope so. Right, hope right. So. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, gentlemen. So it's going to be your father's day. Yeah. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, don't let me down like the last time, all right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to I won't you. I will the singing. Happy birthday. Yeah. To- <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. 31 years of God and God's blessings wow. and God covering my life and covering me. So what are the perspectives that come with being 31? I imagine there are different, mature yeah. perspectives about life. What are some of those? I think I'm more comfortable in myself right, now right, more right. than ever. Yeah. It comes with, obviously, age. It <laughs> comes with understanding your space, your environment. It yeah. comes with understanding an environment, I mean... Your physical environment, of course, mm-hmm. your professional environment, your social environment. Right. Um, I'm more settled yeah. at 31 Yeah. in terms of like what I want and the direction that my life is taking. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's really that's beautiful important to me. Because prior yeah. to that, you you're probably not so sure about certain things, this yeah. and that. Yeah. Um. But also, I'm I'm enjoying. Listen, I want to enjoy every single aspect of my life. Right. 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 And that's what I show on my social media. You're going to get all of it. You know, you're gonna get mom. You're gonna get working girl. You're gonna get wife. You're going to get you know sister, daughter. Mwetzi, all of that because I think that's part of being a black woman, right? Are you um, sure though? Are you sure that we get a, a whole lot of everything from you? Because at because, least I try to. Well, 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 that's the operative word, right? Uh-huh. Try because we get a question on Instagram. I ask people to to ask questions on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. And someone who might want to push back to just your last statement right now. Okay. Someone whose name is Kitty Lady K, who says, um, why does she not normally normally post pics of her and her hubby? I knew that question was going to Especially come. if they go to places like weddings and night outs. Yeah. So when you said you give us every single bit of yeah. this and that, yeah. I remember the question because it was going to come later. But I yes. thought, well, Let's address here's, it now. here's a, a pushback a little bit. Yeah, because I mean, you know he's there. <laughs> It's, it's like yo, it's, yo. It's Dipsy Silolani. <laughs> he not, is not the government of drop. No, Dipeto ho Dipsy. Night like Dipeto. That is my husband. You there know, you that is a living legend right there. You yeah, know, yeah. And you guys have consumed so much. Um, I don't want to say content, but right, right. You know, reports and all of that tweets. Yeah. Art, newspaper articles about my relationship so much that like hey guys I'm done trying to prove it to anyone oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's it's right. because it's normal it is it I, is. I don't know if and I'm very clear I always say I'm not going to post you know the gifts the this ah, the that yeah, why yeah, you know yeah. there's so much of my life that I show right yeah. and so much of my life that I don't yeah, yeah I will yeah. give you bits of a little bit of everything but uh, to a degree, well, certain things to a degree, right, to a lesser right. degree, right, right? Right, right. And I think it's also because I'd never want to put myself as or put myself out as the authority on marriage. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I, I honestly think the moment I do that, it's oh okay, so the petro got marang flowers today. Ah, okay, so that so, means, so by doing that, you're sort and, of inviting some scrutiny. Yeah, some I mean, scrutiny yeah, that, yeah, no, um, the petro got marang. Uh, uh, a, a fancy phone or a car or a, I'm, I, I just I just don't want to do that you know yeah, yeah, yeah. because again like I say I'm not the authority on motherhood I'm definitely not the authority on marriage yeah. I'm figuring it out just like everyone else right right so so but, then yeah. so then I, I I just appreciate that you you keep bringing up some of these things right some of these things that I had sought to ask you because you remember the last time that people consumed a lot out of you was when the age difference came through of course the conversation or how did you feel about that conversation at all it's been a minute, I yeah. know, but how yeah. did you feel about it? It's funny because if you follow me, I, I t- I've told the story before. Yeah. Um, I'm called by my sister. This was 2016. I was doing my honors go vets. Yeah. I'm getting ready to present my 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 research proposal, right? My right. my honors research proposal. Uh-huh. And then I get a call from my sister sitting. She's like, um, so a friend of mine or an acquaintance or some girl just called me yeah. who I know, and she says to me, Hey, Hey, so guys, obviously at that time, yeah. our families know because again, this is not an ordinary Tom, Dick, or Harry. It's you not. Know? It's, it's not. Yeah. It's it's deep at the It's dipsy. It's dip. No, it's dipsy. It's dipsy. Yeah. You know, so you can't ignore him when he walks into a room. You know he's there. You know, <laughs> you know what? Can in, I just when he's can... at family events? You know he's there. Right. 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 So so she calls me. She's like, okay. So this person just said this to me. Um, what are you gonna? No, she does not even say what are you gonna do because my sisters and I have this thing of. Well, good. We move. You right, told right. me we know what to do. We move. We're right. Um, and we're so protective of each other. Ah. My family is, and that's why my family. I hang out with my cousins and my sisters all the time because we are like this we're like a tight that. unit. And I like we, that. We we protect each other to the core, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So I said to her, "Cool, okay, like when Operation London Bridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was Operation. You know, we that protect bridge, this, that you bridge. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay." It's time. It was bound to happen. It's time. The time has come. Now we move into that. Right, right, right. Um, And I sat in my presentation, gave my presentation, because I'm very professional. Like, I never, my my social life will never mix with my, with my, oh, with yeah. my uh, schoolwork. Smart move. Very different. Smart move. Very different, yeah. So, what I then did, I, I called my mom. Mm-hmm. I said to her, mom, 
my mom sort of knew she had an idea but wasn't too sure. I said to her mom, so this no actually I called it things. So you called my mom. Yeah. Mama bafu, sinya bafu nela mama. Yeah. Mama, this is what's happening. Right. 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 My mom said, "Cool, bet, sharp," because yeah. she had heard, right? Right. Right. She knew. I just didn't. This is a boyfriend, guys. Like it's on a little low. I'm not quick of to introduce my boyfriend to to my parents, but yeah. they knew of him. I just never confirmed it. Right. My mom's like, "Bet, sharp, we're on." Yeah. Obviously, people go sinya mama. Hey. <laughs> hey oh my God. My dad, hey. At your mama's office. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my friends obviously also went into we're going to protect her mode, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. but fortunately, again, his family knew about me. My family knew about him. It was just never like this is what's happening. Yeah. But we immediately all went into this is what's going to happen. Right, right, um, right. They never had an issue with the age gap. They never because I think what people don't understand, TK, is that I started working when I was eleven. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't have a normal childhood. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't attend kids' uh, parties. I didn't attend. I wasn't involved in any sports. That I was can't not play sport to, you to know, save to, your to life. save my life yeah. because I just didn't have time to do that. I was recording. I was doing voiceovers. I was um, shooting a uh, field work or field Man. content. I was always working, right? And if I'm not doing month learning, I'm doing my kabaning. And if I'm not doing my kabaning, I'm doing um, what's this, uh, my freaking dream. So I was always working. Yeah. So when I meet someone like D, and this is the most honest I've been about our relationship, mm-hmm. um, because I think, yeah, I'm at that point where it's 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 whatever, right? What? When this I the first met, time ever, like, ever? I, like, I don't, I don't give uh, interviews about my, my marriage. So they're hearing it first from the Juice 2.0. No, I mean, I talk about it on my stories from time to time. Yeah, but today is like, like, yeah. Okay. T- today's this is it's an exclusive. Okay, there, there we go. <laughs> I squeezed it out of you. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. So so yeah. So I uh, now I've lost my train of thought. Ah. Yeah. So I met him. Mm-hmm. I met him, and it was it was. He, we get each other. We got each other. Yeah. He's also been in the space in the public space for so for a minute, long, for a long time you know, since he was a teenager. Yeah. Um, at the highest level. Right. Right. With me, I was the f- I was in the first batch of kids presenters in the republic you know yeah. the first show yeah. the first television station when it had just opened kudos to you guys yeah thank you yeah. so we were all just we we we, we just got each other right you right, know we, right. I, he understood my life i understood his life um he understood that you know i have there's there's public marang there's personal marang i also understood there's public dipetoho there's there, there's public dipsy there's private dipetoho yeah and so the age thing was never really a factor. Right, right, right. I've lived a life beyond my age. Or I like the, that. My, my age at that point, you yeah. know. So you yeah. were mature before you even got to the age maturity. Yeah, like, so I to don't speak. even so think so that to speak. that's healthy, but yeah, for well, sure. Well, well, you handled it well then. You, Thank you. You really did. You really did. Thank you. So then uh, you need to tell people today onwards, you're not talking about that stuff anymore. Because that's just what it is. We're closing it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, it's again, it's, yeah, I, I, you know, I said on my stories the other day, again, if you follow me, you'll probably, you probably remember this. I yeah. said, you know, I have been trolled since I was 11. Social media found me being trolled. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Social media found me knowing um, the mechanics of fame. Right, right, And right. walking into a store and people knowing you by name and, you know, wanting, what's this, the uh, autographs. Ah. I started signing autographs at 11. Um, across Botswana, not even in Gabs. So for me, I function even beyond social media. Wow. I function beyond my age group. I function all the way into age group Babu Mama and beyond. I like that. I like so, that. So when when people say, how do you handle, of course it'll hurt, but I don't dwell on it. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know if it's healthy. You've grown a muscle. You've grown it's a muscle. It's a muscle. Pretty it's much. Muscle. You've, you've grown so a muscle, yeah. When someone says, oh, we heard what ah. it, it is what it is. Dude, but but you must have broken a lot of hearts before you when you got married to Deep Sea though. You broke a lot of hearts. No, I'm a relationship girl, so I've <laughs> pretty much been in relationships for oh, yo. <laughs> my whole life. So, no, but but you know you know. Um, so how about in the context of everybody else that wanted to be with you? Yo, you know what's funny? And that I must always, have been, yeah. And I always say this, TK. I don't get hit on as much as people think I would. Cap. Cap. I swear to you. Cap. Zoom in. Cap. Okay. Cap. You don't? Okay. Why? Because what? You, you, I don't know if You probably come off of, uh, as intimidating to the next person. But also being in a space 
in this space that I occupy, my life is quite public. Ah. Who really has the energy and, you know, the balls, the balls to, to do it? To be part of it, to be, you know, sucked into it, you know, it's it's Why are you saying the balls and then the next word is sucked into it? Oh wow. Um how that's your mind, what? not mine. <laughs> what? What? What's, what's that's going your what's, mind. What's going on? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so that's 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 that really I yeah. My favorite TV show of all time is Yikes. You know what, TK? Mm-hmm. I don't like well my favorite. Uh-huh. I don't have a favorite color. I don't have a favorite car. I don't have a favorite TV show. I don't have a favorite artist because life is so colorful. True. Why must you pick one? So which, you know what? Why? J- just give us a TV show. Um, ah, this political. I like what? black comedy. Ah, so, yes. Yeah, so I you like, and I both. Yeah, I like, um, well, black sitcoms, uh-huh. black-ish. Nice. Um, uh, a sister, sister, Moesha. Oh, throwback, throwback, Those throwbacks. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult. It's been difficult to find a show that matches that. Um, yeah. What's the spin off? Yeah, yeah, Blackish again. Um, uh, Gronish. I like Gronish. I love yes. Gronish, yeah. Um, the producer, Kenya, had his own spin-off on Netflix. Yeah, I like yeah. It was just one season, but I really enjoyed that. Yeah. So I love black sitcoms. I think... I Obviously, think, um, what's this? Insecure, that's... Ooh, yeah, that is, is definitely top three. Name drop. That, that's, definitely that's, top three. It does it. It does it. But yeah. for the second question, if you had to choose, because you told me early on in the show, right, mm-hmm. that you've put your lecturing hat off for now. We'll go back to the reasons why you've let let it go for now. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not even for now. Maybe it's forever. But we'll talk about it. But you've had to, if you had to choose between acting mm-hmm. and teaching performance art, what would you choose? Um, I, I again, even with acting, mm-hmm. I took that hat off a while ago. Okay. I can put it back on, yeah. but I think because our industry. It's quite small. It's very difficult for me to find something that that I would enjoy being a part of. Oh, yeah. yeah. That I feel... Yeah, let me just leave it at that. That Yeah, that I would enjoy being a part. I haven't found a script ah, that, that I just feel, like okay, this is, this is it for me. But the last show I did was Sugar, MTV Sugar. Yes, the, ma'am. The series, the online series. I was the only casting from Botswana. Yeah, where is it um, now? I'm not sure what's happening now, but I did the online bit where the, where the characters were on lockdown, you know, uh, lit because we were all on well, lockdown. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So it was quite interesting because it was shot, we shot at Gadi Founi. You know, we, yeah, I had my laptop here wow. getting direction from the director in the UK, the directors in the UK. Yeah. And then I shot with my phone, landscape, volume on loud you know just as you would like you know on YouTube yes yes and yes because the, the idea was that the characters are having a conversation um, on, on online not online oh, yeah. but yeah Face, FaceTime whatever yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah so that was my last acting gig which one do I again life is colourful life is but colorful, if you had to choose I'm, forever teaching or acting I would definitely choose performance performance but not just acting yeah Television presenting. I really enjoy content, um, digital content, yeah. but digital content in video form. I Not like so that. much pictures. Oh, yeah. I, I've really tried to sort of carve out, you know, that niche for myself. Speaking of that. Yeah. How much fun did you have shooting that picnic video with your husband? It was so good. I mean, it looked like it was a bit shy. Is it, he a shy guy? He's a shy dude. My husband is very shy. That's also part B of that question that I was asked earlier. Yeah. My husband is so shy. If you know him, and it's so funny because every event that we attend, right, be it a wedding, be it a funeral, be, and really even funerals, or the presence of like very formal, like he's a president. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, our, our, our legend yeah. and, oh, yeah, my cousin got married two weeks ago and now it's funny because Dipeto was part of our family so right. for, for my family it's yeah, yeah but now my cousin my, my, my cousin's MC was like no ML come to the front Dude. he's very shy that's not his favorite thing to do yeah. he'd rather sit at the back and, and just chill. mind his business yeah. and you know yeah and chill with his brothers and us and yeah and just would you say, would you say those are some of the attributes and traits that kind of attracted you to him absolutely uh, the, the quieter type of guy the 
mystery type of yeah. guy, just quiet and a bit shy. Yeah. You know, someone who's not like, you know what? I mean? We balance each other out in that regard. Yeah, because you are. I'm very. Yeah. And now he's got me and Nami who are very. Jeez, go easy on the now brother. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. okay. The one person I'd rather be stuck on an island with is. That's gonna be an easy one. Oh, I not I, so easy. I, I, yo, because now it's between hubs and nums. Yeah. Speaking of nums, right? Yeah. Actually, let go first. Like nums or hubs, who you? Who would you rather be stuck with? Yeah. You know, according according to, I don't know if it's the Bible, but just you know how nyalwa how nyadisiwa. You you are told what it's your husband first then bana yeah you know yeah um and it's something I hear a lot yeah so for for that I'll say hubs hubs yeah let's talk about nums how's nums doing man big nums is good yeah she's healthy how old is she's, nums she's three in two weeks she'll be three on the 29th of September nice she'll be three yeah. Um, Big Nums is good. Yeah. Nam Nam is great. She's a firecracker. She's confident. She's quite assertive. Yeah. Very assertive. Um, she's keeping me on my toes. Mm-hmm. And I know every parent will say that about their child. I know, but I think my daughter is such a light. Anyone who's interacted with Nami before on a personal level, because there are people who will say hi to her and yeah. you know, because now they know her. Right, right. And she'll just give them the cold shoulder. But that's really because it's very new to right, you know? right, right. Um, but yeah, so so she's quite she's quite something. So so when it comes to her birthday, which is very very soon, right? Mm-hmm. What are we gonna do for nuns? And I asked that because you were recently at uh, the Miss Botswana team birthday yes. surprise type yes. of thing. Well, it was actually I was invited to give a talk on a masterclass on. Tell me about speaking. that. Tell me about that. And, and then, then everything else happened. Yeah, so I take a phone call. And then while I'm out, they plan this thing, right? I come back. Okay, we're asked to take a group picture. I I get into formation. I'm standing there. <laughs> and then they start singing. So silly me, dumb me, I start singing along too. Because I mean, it's happy birthday. <laughs> it's that song, you know. And then I'm like, whoa. So who exactly are we? Are you? And now everyone's looking at me. So I turn back. I'm like, are you? Oh, oh. Now because I'm a cry baby, I cried. Yeah, yeah. I cried. I saw those tears, but it was it was it was amazing. Those ladies, the whole team, yeah. singing for you, happy birthday. So I asked to say that your daughter's birthday is coming. What do we have planned for for nuns? Um, listen, a girl is broke. Hey, a girl, a girl just <laughs> cannot keep up with birthdays, and I've said this before. Nah, guys, like I, we can't afford to be throwing parties every single year. Don't do that to Nums. And it's, no, and I love her, and that's my baby. We'll do the cake thing. We'll invite a, a few cousins over. But the problem with me is that my family is quite big. Yeah. So cut, cake cutting means fifteen kids. Oh yeah. My cousins' kids. That's a lot. <laughs> so a I lot. may think no party, no party, but it will for sure look like no cost just as much as a party <laughs> because then I'll have to feed parents yeah. and then it'll become a vibe. But of course, I'll I'll, I'll definitely throw something for her yeah. um, at my house or um, at at, a, at an event spot that my family owns, while well, my sister owns. Please tell her Uncle TK says happy birthday I when will. it when it happens I and uh, Godspeed. You have also broken into South Africa, sort of, right? Mm -hmm. But what I needed to know when I was going through some of your profiles and this and that, I needed to find out from you. Has the United States ever crossed your mind? Ever at all? Okay, so let me give you, uh, let me, let's check back to when I graduated from the University of Pretoria. Yeah. And I want to address this because people always come to me, why don't you move to South Africa? Oh, you're wasting your time here. I get that. Know, it's, it's super hard you, to you do must that. go. You must go act. You know. Let me tell you the reality that yeah. is South Africa. Yeah. And ask anyone who lives there. Right. Um. As a as a as a foreign actor. Yeah. Ask ask the the local South African actors how tough it is to break into the industry. Mm-hmm. Right. And when I mean break into the industry, I don't mean a few a, a few TVCs, uh, uh, TV commercials yeah. or like, uh, you know, the small, small roles. Stuff. Yeah. No, I mean like fully. Commit, not even commit, but like make money. Yeah. Make a make like earn a living from 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 acting. It's difficult. Right, right, right. So when I was in my when I was doing my undergrad, uh, we would go for auditions, random auditions, although mm-hmm. we weren't allowed. Yeah. But we still would. 
And I remember we went for it was just before the Mzanzi Biscops were being launched. That 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 thing that cam- I don't know campaign yeah, yeah yeah before they launched it. Mnet had a series of auditions right, and I got a role. So I'm at school. I'm called by Mnet by Channel. Uh, you got this role. Mm-hmm. Can you please send us your tech stuff? Da 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 da. Um. I then handle all of that because also as a student, on a, when you're on a study permit, you're allowed a certain number of hours to work. So mm-hmm. anyway, I was within those hours, I was going to be good. Yeah. Up in my mind, I have a visa, whether it's a work permit or a study visa. Like, ah, it's yeah. a visa, yeah, right? Yeah. So I get everything on track. I have I have my SARS, everything done. And then I call my contact at Mnet, right, who I was talking to. And he says to me, so I, I, t- I guess it's something they overlooked. Listen, um... I'm not South African. You do know that, right? I can speak the Tswana languages, sure, the Sutu Tswana languages, uh, but I'm not South African. He's like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> was this it? is awkward. <laughs> can I get back to you? I'm like, okay, I felt, sure. I felt that awkwardness right now and I was not yeah. even part of the conversation. Yeah. And at the time, we were we were in the middle of a school festival. We had an annual uh, theater, theater festival at school. Yeah. So I'm now telling my directors, no. I got a job, you know. I've got a role. Shucks, I have to leave. I have to leave. You know, I can't be part of this production anymore. Yeah. And then I get a call from Channel again, and this guy says to me, "Listen, unfortunately, um, yeah, we're gonna have to cut you because yeah, Channel wants South, South African, African actors strictly." That was my first big blow, right? Like, and it hurts. Yeah, it hurt because, you must have. You must have. Yeah, because I, I thought, of course, also. And ask anyone from our year group. Mm-hmm. My 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 best friend and I, Mamo Hato, who's a South African, who's still there. Yeah. We topped our class in performance and acting specifically. We it, it would always be, you know. Yeah. And also our lecturers would hype us, you know. All and the time. Even, you know, yeah. Our 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 friends who had graduated before us would say, yeah, no, the industry's gonna like you. You know, when you're light skin, you know, and it's, it's true. <laughs> light skin, you're this, you're pretty, you're, you're gonna get roles, you know. Yeah. Um, and you're actually talented. And you have experience because I did have experience. Mm-hmm. So I graduate. I stick around. Uh, I attend. Oh, I got an agent. So what what would happen goes along is every towards the end of the year, you have agencies come in and then they pick who they want to sign. So I got signed, um, talent, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, Janice and them. And then what happened from there is they would send me auditions, send right. me to auditions. Right. Um, I'd get callbacks. Some I wouldn't. But I think what started making me, well, discouraging me would be, first of all, the lines. Ah. The cues were insane. Dude. And this would be, you know, actors trained and not trained. Not trained. You know? And I'm sitting there thinking, I went to school three years for this. You know, and you can imagine you're sitting in the queue and you're hearing people saying, "Eh, hey, no, you know, you know, you don't need, you don't need a degree. You know, acting is acting. It's talent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Of course, I know that. Like it's, it's. I I know this. It's it's a God given talent. Of course, I know yeah, this, yeah, but it's yeah. different. Like but when you go to school training, for it as the well, commitment, the commitment. Yeah. Listen, I know. I I can tell a trained actor from a tr- an actor that's not trained. I know, and I know the process. Yeah. Of acting now because I I come from an academic point as well. I'm having taught acting. Right, 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 um, right. I know what it takes to to perform at your best. Mm-hmm. So that also now started discouraging me. So I'm going down and low and low. And I'm getting callbacks, issues of, of visas. And at that point, I've gone beyond my study permit. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. living, I don't want to say illegally because I was still in the three months that, you know, right, you're that given, you get that from, you can, yeah. yeah, that you can use. So I'm there, I'm attending. And then eventually, God, um, I need to go back home. <laughs> yeah. Because also at some point, my passport was telling me, darling. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> your three months about are it's, almost yeah. down. Right, right. Um, they're almost done. So... I then decide, okay, let me go back home and let me reestablish myself from home because I don't have to start from scratch there. Of course, I of genuinely course. don't. Yeah. And I can start from home where I have support. I was living with my sister in South Africa, so I'm grateful to have had her throughout yeah. my stay there. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to come back home and just recollect myself and see where this thing is headed, right? right where right, where right. I'm taking this. Yeah. But it was so difficult because my friends who I had graduated with were getting roles. They may or not have they may not have been big roles, but they were roles. They were getting roles, yeah. Yeah. TVCs, uh, commercials, um minor roles on on on, you know, big uh, soapies. Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is I then started seeing when 
things were picking up for me this side. Mm-hmm. I then started seeing people who had went to uni- who had gone to university with start sitting at home more. Because now Terrible. the roles are running out, or rather, they're just not getting roles big enough anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That industry is difficult. Living in South Africa on its own is very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just didn't make financial sense for me. Of and course. it just wasn't making career sense for me to be sitting and living audition to audition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't like the the idea of my fate being in someone else's hands. Oh, again, because I'm coming in having had, I have experience. I've worked before. So I don't want to have to, every time, it's, I get that. am I going to get it? I get that. You're, at this point, at this point you're my, expecting results from, yeah. from the hard work. And this is someone who's worked you know, most of her life, you know? Um, so yeah, I then decided I'm coming back home. I, what happened? I, I, I worked a bit. I can't remember what I did that time, but I've always found things to do. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then I went back for my honors. Yeah. I'm um, university of Pretoria because now I really wanted to, to take it up a notch. Yeah. Still wasn't sure what I would do with my honors degree. Because and still, and, and still the United States doesn't cross your still mind. U- the U S no, no, I think because South Africa, I don't know, maybe because I, I've just, and maybe it's a God thing. Do you feel I've, like, do you feel, do you feel like, sorry to interject, uh-huh. but do you feel like maybe it's almost like a stage thing as you would have like a rite of passage that if you make it in South Africa, then you possibly could make it such that if you never make it in South Africa, there's no way you yeah. could ever make it in the United States. Do you but feel I that also, way? I, I think in hindsight yeah. and where I am now, yeah. acting was never my everything. Ah, like I wasn't gonna stop my life to act for acting, yeah. For acting, I, I enjoy that. performing, yeah. and I can perform as an actress, yes, as a television presenter, yes, as you know, a content creator now, yeah. But acting alone just wasn't the eat and all, the, it, it, it wasn't it really, wasn't, yeah. And I understand now because I'm a very when I do things, I do them consciously and I do them aware, very yeah. like I'm very self aware, and I'm always trying to tune into like what God is saying to me mm. and in hindsight and the direction that my life is taking yeah. I know why I just never considered America I know why I just never considered acting to be it we'll talk about so much more in just a few more minutes that we have left for now some music and then back with more Marang Silolani in the building there's a message over here I'm gonna go quickly over it TK uh-huh. word up what's going on Oz have you realized that Marang has the same voice and energy of Rati Kifitile? I love, girl, Rati. I love Rati. I love Rati. The girl can talk and talking straight talk for that matter. Big <laughs> up. That's you. I love Rati. Rati That's and you. I had our babies the same year. Ah, beautiful. So we always catch up and talk about Puki and Nam Nam. Puki and Nam Nam. Yeah. We'll be right back. City B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. That's some music from Stretch, who I actually bumped into yesterday at a mall. And I was like, yo, bro, you were just on my show the other week. What is this? Are the gods crazy? And he's like, the gods must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 58 is your time. Marang is in the building. And sadly, we are running out of time. Literally yeah. just two more minutes. And I was asking her, like, what would you want to tell the people in just a few minutes? She's like, you know what? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's just like, you know. But 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 I had so many, so many questions, mm. right? Uh, speaking of how you are and the decision you made when you were young to become who you are now, if you had probably thought about Nam Nam's waking up one of these good days telling you that she wants to follow the same thing, uh-huh. what would you what would you what would you say? Is that an environment that you can associate and accommodate and therefore give a thumbs up for? I will support my child in whatever industry she wants to pursue. Yeah. However, I am an education girl, full on, full on, full on. You see, they're right there, right Absolutely. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, my, my, my people know that I'm doing my masters in cultural policy and management. Yeah. Um, so I'm now going into policy development and arts and culture. Yeah. So I would, I would encourage Nami to really study the craft, whatever craft it is she wants to get into. Yeah. Um, if it's this, fortunately for her, she has parents who understand the mechanics of this industry you right, know right. um yeah I'll, I'll give her my my love and support just she must just give me those degrees i'm that parent <laughs> i've turned into that parent. i just want to see degrees <laughs> yeah all right a few of your uh, uh what did i got uh, the free association your pet peeve let me know about that what is it oh my gosh i don't know i can't think about that now that's such a difficult question yeah. oh, i don't know i don't know another question another, another question. question uh um uh, 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 um uh, nah, shucks. The most expensive gift I've ever gotten was. Jeez. Um, 
maybe a car from my parents. Um, Whoa! But no, but it was it was nothing. It was really nothing. Okay. But Hubs always buys me gadgets. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Which one was the most expensive? Though? No, I'm not gonna say. Come on! <laughs> Just, was, it a no, was it a phone? Hubs, hubs, no, y- yes, and other things. Phone and other um, things. Yeah, like they hubs, all came at once. Uh, yeah, around the same time. Yeah, yeah. But Hubs is always getting me nice things. I just don't share because why should I? Hesh, can Hubs and I become friends? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, he's a he's a cool he's a cool guy. He's cool, a cool dude, guy. cool dude. Yeah. So, so what I, what I wanted to do, ah, man, so much that we needed to do. So you're coming to the part two. Yes, as we're saying, right? But what's the most expensive gift you've ever gotten, Hubs? Ding ding. Gling, gling, because yeah, no, we've, we've um, got to reciprocate. Okay, okay. I, 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 I recently bought him an expensive gadget. Phone. Hey, an expensive gadget. Fourteen just came back. So what is going <laughs> an on? Expensive gadget. <laughs> Fourteen <And he> knows. just. <laughs> it was quite expensive. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I do spend. I, I spend. Listen, I, I make my own coins. So. And, and you spend on your person. And I spend and on my person. And it's very important in a relationship, right? To, yeah. to Guys, you know and what? And I spend on myself as well. It's official. I'm moving out of my house. You're going to find me. You know what What? what the, those t-shirts nowadays, if lost, you can return to? Okay, but in the, in this regard, guys, if you want to find me, right? Because I, I'm moving to the Salolanas. Oh, why? That guys, is what's happening. I am going to the Salolanas. <laughs> We are just, Nami has us, you yeah. know, no. Oh, upped up. Yeah. Look, last words to the person who's listening, to the person mm. who's watching you right now. What would you say? Be a participant in your own life. Ooh. Yeah. Be a participate in your life. Because we, we're not even participating in participate our own lives. In then we're trying, to, we're trying to participate in other people's lives. But no. I, yo, that was deep. Yeah. Eat that food, that good food. Like, just romanticize your life. Um, buy yeah. that nice crockery. Yeah. You know, go on that holiday. That's right. Get that degree. That's right. Just participate and enjoy living your life. I like that. And that's it. Because career is nice. I always say career is nice. It's not everything. Have that baby. Get married. Or don't get married. Or don't have that. Just do yeah. what makes you happy. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you to the viewers, to the listeners, to my live fam. I've really enjoyed myself and I hope I'll be back for part two. You're definitely coming for part two. Marang Silolani in the building and that is a wrap. You catch her on Tuesday on the Juice 2.0 where the video drops at 10 a.m. The news is coming up very late and I'm so, so, so sorry. Mr. Samoga is going to kill me and so are you, maybe. Maybe not because you love me. But hey, God bless you, God speed and have a beautiful Saturday until tomorrow, 6 a.m. On the Juice 2.0, my name is TK, and you and I have been juicy. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video, and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.